Dilim. That's better. There. Hello everyone, what's up? It is me, Micah, and welcome to part one of my moving out series. It was just very abnormal, and I was dealing with that for years and years of my life. Never consulted doctors about it. I was like, whatever, let's just consult when I need to. So all my life, I was so scared that it would lead to that, that the doctor would say something that I didn't want to hear. So that's one of the reasons why I really pushed it aside for such a long time. Kung bago ka sa channel ko, hello and welcome to my channel. But for those of you na matagal na nanonood ng vlogs ko, then alam you guys that last November 8th, I got engaged. And kami naman ni Adrian, parang ever since day one, ever since our first date, we already had our hearts set na eventually, we will get married if that's the will of God for our relationship. And now, when we got to the engagement, ayon na rin namin naman patagalin siya. So we are getting married about a month from when I post this video a month or two, I decided that I really wanted to be more raw and just vlog moments like this so that I can look back and just see how everything went for Adrian and I and even my family and his family. Today, ayun ang gagawin natin. Kailangan natin ayusin yung nasa loob ng there cabinet na yan. Diyan ko ilalagay yung mga gamit na ititira ko dito and then everything else will have to go. It's either gonna go to our new house New house. I will be able to show you guys that. Or it's gonna be sold or magsistay siya dito sa bahay na to. Pero as much as possible, I really don't wanna leave anything behind because this entire space is gonna go to my sister. Medyo marami na yung kailangan i-cover on this video. Kaya, let's get started. Siyempre, bago yun, I just want to say thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Guys, the past few months, I have been doing nothing but looking at different stores, different places kung saan kami pwede makakuha ng really good quality and good looking furniture pieces and not just furniture pieces but de decor items as well for our future house. And I'm not an interior designer. I did not graduate as an interior designer. I have not studied anything about interior design so Skillshare has been such an amazing help to me. And now since I've been getting a lot into interior design and I want to understand like the correct juxtaposition the right use of patterns, what works, what doesn't. All I did was I went on Skillshare, searched interior design, and sobrang daming choices na lumabas. As in, ang dami talagang options. And if you guys are not into interior design, then that's totally fine because you can learn about business, filmmaking, illustration, and a lot more creative-related skills that you can hone perfectly on Skillshare. If you guys don't feel like paying for anything yet, then that's totally fine because I have a link for you guys that I will pop here on the screen and I will also include in the description box below. You guys better hurry up though because this free trial only applies to the first 1,000 people who will try it out. So anywho, let's start with fixing that cabinet. Lemonade. Ooh, tastes so sweet. Guys, share ko lang. Ang ganda ng lashes ko. I got this done sa Ayumi. Tapos, ang ganda niya pag nakamask. Look at that. And share ko lang din. I got this vase from an Instagram shop. Tapos, nun super sakto yung hole na to para dun sa booking na bigay sa akin ng idea nung na-engage kami. It's so nice. Ow, ow, ow. Hi, Miss Mika. Like, from the door and then you kind of have to turn around. But make a U-turn, literally. The whole entourage can just come from I have never showed you guys this closet. Closet ba tawag mo dito? Grabe o, parang attic talaga siya o. May spider pa dyan. I have never showed you guys this part of my room for a specific reason. But right now, I really want to share it with you. Ta-da! So, itong mga gamit na to, parang mga bags yan eh. Tapos, ito, bag cleaner. Ito yung nasira kong acrylic. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman. Lalagyan ko yan ng luma kong jewelry. Tapos, kasi ang nangyari dyan, parang nung naayos ko siya, tinambak-tambakan ko na lang. So, honestly, guys, hindi ko alam kung paano ko lilinisin to. Saan ako magsisimula? And saan ko ilalagay yung mga gamit na hindi ko naman itatapon or ibebenta? Or ipapamigay? Simula muna natin tong part na to. Shallow lang kasi yan. Pero ito, medyo malalim-lalim siya. Tapos, ang dami talagang gamit. Sleep on my face, play a teddy pin of grass, listen to the way you keep coming right back and I think Oh my gosh guys, alam ko sobrang bright pero look at what I found. 
Air freaking pods. I sorry, sorry, no, no. Earbuds. Tama na ba? But yeah, they're so kadiri. Parang tingnan mo. Kadiri. Kasi par naiwan ko sila dito. Baho din. Wait, let's clean it up. Moment of truth. Try natin kung gumagana pa siya. They still work perfectly. Here is the aftermath. Oh, di ba ang dami pa nating space dito sa part na to. Tapos Ayan, na-organize ko na rin siya. Nandito yung mga organizers ko for traveling. Ito, another organizer. Another organizer for traveling. More organizers. And these naman, I think these are yung mga gamit na hindi pa ko ready let go. Bigay ng people who are very important to me, like family. And then bag cleaners. More smaller organizers. I'm happy that we still have a lot of space here. Meaning, marami pa akong malalagay dito. Actually, hindi pa to squished up. So that's good. Kasi nga, lahat ng mga items ko na iiwan ko dito sa bahay, ito lang yung pwede kong matake up na space. So now, we are gonna head to this part. I'm really nervous kasi nga, ang lalim nito ito, sobrang daming Talaga. I'll show you guys. There guys, that's what it looks like. So, ang lalim niya talaga. May mga pillows pa doon na luma from when we were kids. May lagyan pa ng lights. Mga light fixtures. And ang daming mga lumang thesis and bags. Mostly like organizers. Ito yung nahulog kanina. So, ito yung memorabilia box ko. Nilagay ko siya dito sa Nike ko na box. And, yan. Mga debut cards to. Invitations. Tapos, mga lumang tickets ng sine. Parati ko tong tinatago. Grabe guys, 2015 pa to. And, I have always been a lover of bandages. Kaya, meron akong collection. Ito, hindi ko pa ng mga nabubuksan. Barbie. We also have this one from Disney. Safari edition. Tapos, eto, alam ko na buksan ko na to yung Tweety na waterproof na hindi naman talaga waterproof. Oh, I kept this. This is, this used to be my dad's favorite. Mahilig siya mag-hunkerchief. That is sobrang hilig ko sa mga ganitong earrings, guys. Eto, fries. Tsaka, I think yung isa nito is burger. Ayan. Hindi naman siya mukhang burger. Cute! Look at the skewers! <music> Update, it is 8.10 in the evening. And may mga natanggal na ako, pero may mga binalik ako. Pero yung ibang mga binalik ko, gamit na yun ni ate. And she's probably just gonna transfer it in some other one of her closets because she has so much now. I have a few stuff left to fix. And those mga ipapamigay na lang, siguro sa mga um, garbage men kapag dumaan sila kasi magagamit pa yun mga families nila. Okay guys, I know that this video has not been the most festive one, to be honest. Wala naman tayo masyadong ginawa, pero that took a lot of my time. So anyway, I am really not want to share a lot of personal things here on YouTube. Alam nyo naman yan, mahilig akong gumawa ng mga favorites videos. And I, I shared very general things. I, I think even right now, I, I'm having a hard time just looking at the camera and talking to you guys about something that's a little bit more personal to me. So just to give you guys a background, ever since I think I was like 12 or 13 when I first got my period. So parang irregular ko na. As in, the first time I had my period, it took me six months until I got the second one. And I thought that was, you know, it's normal because you know, my body was probably adjusting and it probably was. I still don't know. I never consulted my OB about it. So I let this be until a few days ago. Never ko pinansin kahit na alarm na ako na ang dami kong parang bleeding within the months or within the days rather na dapat hindi naman ako nagkaka-period. It was just very abnormal. And I was dealing with that for years and years of my life. Never consulted doctors about it. I was like, whatever, let's just consult when I need to. Dapat talaga nung March 2020 pa ako mag-consult ng OB ko. Pero hindi nga natuloy yun kasi bigla nga nagka-lockdown. And for that entire year, I just set it aside. And I was so scared of going to the hospitals kasi syempre lahat doon nagpupunta ng mga COVID positive. And I found out through my sister, sabi ko kasi gustong gusto ko na talaga na magpa-OB na, oh, there's this app pala na you can use. Tapos nun, doon ka lang magbubok ng doctor. Guys, hindi to sponsor daw. I, I promise you, I, I use this app called Now Serving, and then I got connected to a good doctor. As in, makikita nyo pa dun yung mga credentials nila. So I chose a good doctor that deals with infertility and all that. So all my life, I was so scared na it would lead to that, that the doctor would say something that I didn't want to hear. So that's one of the reasons why I really pushed it aside for such a long time. So I consulted with a doctor 
about a week ago and she told me that I have PCOS that is polycystic ovary syndrome or ovarian syndrome and that's um, a condition which affects the woman's ovaries it's been very difficult I think when I found out about that I was I, I was in a really bad state because syempre you know finding out about something that serious I guess I would say just a month or two before you get married is a lot to take in and you know telling Adrian that was also very difficult and having to open up to his mom about it and just having to conceal the feelings but I know like it's not like super that big because a lot of people with PCOS still get pregnant but I'm gonna have my ultrasound mm, I think in a few days from now yeah, two days from now and I'm very nervous because like the, my OB told me that I had very clear signs that there were cysts but just to make sure so I mean I'm praying to God na wala talaga because the first question I asked her when she told me that hey you have picos was am I gonna have a hard time getting pregnant? She said naman we have to check through the ultrasound but let's hope not so I'm hoping that I'm gonna get good results after the ultrasound. I'm very nervous about it and I've been very emotional about it. It keeps popping in and out of my head. And I guess the sad part is there's just so much that's been going on in my life. Like personal wise, it's been a struggle and you know, I guess I just wanna be more vulnerable to you guys and let just let you know that it's it's not been all daisies and dandelions, if you know what I mean. But I've got a good support system and God's been so faithful. God's been so good. He's been my number number one comforter through everything that Adrian and I are going through. Like he's going through the what I'm going through and yeah, so moral of the story <laughs> to cut things short. I would really recommend that you guys as young as you are, if you feel like Meron kayong signs. So, kunyari, irregular kayo. Sobrang irregular nyo. I was very, I'm very irregular up until now. Um, to the point na sometimes I won't get my period for like 3 months, 2 months, ganun. And sobrang dami kong pimples. Yan. That's a sign of PCOS. And I thought that like, is my skincare not working? Because they would work. But then, there's just something wrong with my body. And this is reality. I mean, you guys think I have really nice skin. But no, I don't this was a trigger to me consulting with an OB. So don't let it get to a point na parang ang haba na nung pinagdaanan nyo, parang laki na nung struggles at saka kayo nag-consult ng OB as early as now. I would suggest that you guys, whether regular yung period nyo, just to check, you know, just to be sure so that you can take all the measures that you need in order to not have to deal with what I am dealing with. Right now, Health is truly wealth. It's something that I really want to take care of, something I want to take seriously. I've not been the most conscious about what I eat, what I take in, and my exercise schedule, and that's something that I also have to be more wary of. Sorry guys, if I'm not getting my message across as clearly as I should be. So, Another long story short, this is like the second time I'm saying this. Um, I'm gonna start taking birth control pills and I hope that it will help me with my period. I hope that it helps regulate my, my cycle and I hope that you know God will truly use it to rid me of this disease or condition. If you guys have any experience or if you have na who's experiencing this, I would love to know what your thoughts are or what your friends or family members thoughts are about this. Please comment that down below. I'd love to know more about it. What have you been doing if you're personally struggling with it as well? Rest assured guys, habang pada palapit ng palapit yung wedding, this won't be the last vlog na. I will just need to be emotional and just like break down a little bit and just be super vulnerable to you guys because I want to show you that it's really not all glam like this is real life like there are a lot of problems that go on like a lot of people think oh it's so perfect your life is so perfect your life is so good but we're living in reality it's not like that <laughs> I'm excited to share this journey 
with you guys. I'm excited to look back on it and just be amazed at how faithful God has been because I know that He will, no doubt about that. If you guys have any questions for me, comment that in the comment section. For now guys, let's wait until moving out part two probably gonna be so much more serious dismantling of the bed actually getting some stuff out and showing you our place leaving you guys with love hope and faith for today you watched me michael louise and i cannot wait to see you again bye everybody